Yeah, it's pretty nuts here. At least we've been here since uh, pretty early this morning. You can check out right here behind me all of the ice that they're removing now. This is just a small portion of what they have already removed from the river. They've been at this since before sunrise and continue to lift these enormous chunks of ice out of the river at multiple different bridge locations that we've seen all across the city and really just a huge mess for this first real taste of spring. Uh, I'm ready for winter to be done <laughs> like two weeks ago. <laughs> There's no roaring river today. Behind us, you got three, four hundred feet of uh, ice backed up still. Only the roar of backhoes and front end loaders frantically trying to clear the ice jam under several bridges in Fond du Lac. This looks like a pretty big mess. Yeah, it, it's, you know, it's growing. One by one, crews are plucking gigantic cubes of ice to try and let the swollen river through. But they can't do it fast enough. The football field looking more like a pond and parking lots pooling outside of the aquatic center. It's causing more than just traffic headaches. We got about 15 houses on um, South and Elm Street here, and then we moved 100 apartments in this apartment building. And then the next apartment down, we moved, I think, four or six apartments out. So, you know, we're probably in the two, three hundred people range. Those people were taken to the Fond du Lac County Fairgrounds. I went and looked out my window, and it's like, oh my gosh, it was pretty bad. Quite a morning, huh? Yeah, it's horrible. I can't explain it. A lot of these people were only able to get out with the clothes on their back, left wondering what's going to happen next. It's like, oh my God, it's just a, what, my van. You know, what's going to happen with my van? You nervous at all? A little bit. I got a lot of expensive equipment in my apartment. Now, crews are taking these gigantic ice blocks and putting them in their salt trucks and then taking them over to the fairgrounds where they're just dumping them out in the parking lot for them to try to melt away. Now, they told me that they were out here early this morning. They expect to be out here late into the night. And then those people who are staying over at the fairgrounds, they told me that they were told they should expect to be there for three to four days because of what we should come to expect in the forecast. But a big mess up here in Fond du Lac. That's only going to get worse from here. Live in Fond du Lac, Sean Gallagher, today's TMJ4.